Let's talk about the story of the latest Call of Duty and how it falls British forces through a catastrophe, basically, like any other Call of Duty. But the Iranians are involved in this Call of Duty before it was a more Russian based Call of Duty. But I want you to guys to stick around because we'll also talk a little bit about the ending. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but please stick around and I'll kind of lead up to that point. But let's talk about how this Call of Duty has a little bit of grittiness to it. And it's more close to home. As someone who lives in the United States, it felt more close to home than a normal because it involved the cartels. It involved some other things and how Mexican cartels could potentially be working with the Iranian government and did some things like that. So that was definitely an interesting dynamic that was brought up in this Call of Duty that did make it. We had Return of Carriers of the Soap, Price, and uh, Ghost, and these characters did a great job. I feel like the appearances and the acting was really well done from a graphical perspective. There were times where I was like, wow, that looks really good. And I haven't thought about that in a while for uh, games in general. I feel like Call of Duty has actually set that bar really good with storytelling and being able to do it from a graphical perspective. So that's one of the cool things about this Call of Duty is they have done that. But it is definitely an arching theme Call of Duty. You're going around through different locations. I would say the locations are not as dynamic as what we've seen in the past. You're going to be mostly in the Mexican desert most of the game. But they do a good job of really kind of making it feel like there is a big risk here. That they need to figure things out. And it didn't feel as over the top as the Call of Duties I've seen in the past. And I think that was actually a really good thing. Because some of the Call of Duty just get so over the top. Like Call of Duty 2 that came out in 2016. That thing was over the top. Vanguard was a little bit over the top at times. Though very good at times from a campaign perspective. So I think that will take it in. But there are some flashbacks that I want to also talk to you guys about. And those flashbacks will be brought up here in a few moments. But first let's talk about how this Call of Duty kind of brings Modern Warfare back. And does a good job of feeling that grittiness that we felt in the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And how that greenness kind of brings in an element of surprise and intrigue and uh, making you want to continue the story. And I was actually into this story more than I thought I was going to be into this story for a Call of Duty. And that's what made it so cool for me is I was actually deeply into this story way more than I thought it was going to be. So I think people are going to be kind of shocked at how much they're into this story, how much they're enjoying this story uh, as the story progresses. So I think people will definitely figure out... Uh, that they have some interest in the story. And I think because it hits more close to home and near the end there's a there's a weapon, of course, like any other Call of Duty that they're going after and they're trying to figure out where the weapon is. That's the premise of the story. It's the premise of every Call of Duty. Where's the weapon? How do we stop the weapon? Um, how do we stop this guy who knows the weapon? That is our main premise of Call of Duty. And they did take that plot point and run with it. And they run with the sweeping locations like any other Call of Duty. But what else are they going to do, guys? So I think that's the good thing. But there are some cool locations. Basically, the Mexican desert is the scene or the setting. And they do a good job of kind of using that scene to tell how the cartels have involvement with the Iranians. And that kind of takes in this Tom Clancy type feel novel. And where the Mexican special forces get involved. And then the, the team of British operators and Americans then come together to take on uh, this enemy force that's supporting potentially a super weapon or a nuclear weapon in this game. So I think that's kind of the dynamic that brings us in. And they do a dynamic of holding it and how it kind of works of figuring out how can they prevent this. And there's always one crisis at the next. They do a very good job of cascading those crises in this game and bringing one crisis to the next to the next crisis and seeing how that goes. And eventually it gets very straight like most Call of Duties, but they do a good job of kind of keeping you jumping around the world. And so you feel like there is something stakes. There's stakes that are involved here. There are major stakes and that these stakes do matter and that you need to figure it out. And that it feels very close to home, uh, especially if you're in North America. It's more set in North America. So they kind of take the British forces to Mexico and stuff. There are some other locations, but mainly... Um, like Amsterdam, but I think mainly you're going to be housing this story in, in the North American southern region, in the Mexico region, is where the story kind of takes place more, which is fine and very cool. So I just want to give you guys some awareness there when it takes this. But overall, the story does a superb job of 
bringing in that Call of Duty feel. So now I want to talk about what I was going to talk about earlier was the ending. And uh, let's talk about the ending real quick and what can help you in this. This is my tidbit for the day, basically. I think you need to actually review the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 story from years ago to understand this story's ending more than anything or you will be confused. So make sure you do review that. You understand the dynamics of that story, what they were trying to accomplish in that story. And I think you're going to understand the ending of the story. I don't want to give the ending away because I know people want to play this game. They don't want to have the total ending ruined for them. But I do want to say that the ending, you need to go watch the previous Modern Warfare for sure. There's no doubt in my mind. And you will have a superb understanding. If you want to do all the Call of Duty Modern Warfare's, there's movies are like an hour each. Um, just so you understand everything that's going on in this story from the back end, there will not be any confusion. So that's my main tidbit here. Everything else will kind of go through, um, but you have to have that to understand the ending. All right, guys, that is my story. So hit the watch the next video, and I'll see you guys later. There's so many videos on this channel. I think you're going to like them.